For our North Country History lesson, we tell you about the aviation history of Ogdensburg. Emily Griffin tells us how Delta Airlines traces all the way back to St. Lawrence County. Delta Airlines is a household name for commercial traveling, but by tracing its roots, we go back to two men in Ogdensburg inventing the crop duster. Engineers Thomas Huff and Elliot DeLand were in the perfect predicament after the First World War. There were a lot of trained airmen without jobs, and the cotton crops across southern states were suffering from a pest called bull weevil. They came to Ogdensburg around 1920. Yes, it was a factory, but it was research and development. They formed Huff to Land and Co. and got to work with highly skilled pilots, engineers, and entomologists. The big thing that happened was they had designed a crop duster. They worked in front of this building in Ogdensburg at the end of Adams Street. The U.S. Department of Agriculture approved their designs and they made the first ever fleet of crop dusters. Huff to Land went down to uh, Georgia and they had 18 airplanes flying. This was the most lucrative business that they got into. But it wasn't the only business. After the success of the crop dusters in 1924, they turned their attention to making warplanes. By 25, they had built 10 bomber planes and they were uh, uh, LB-1 Huftalan. And they ended up getting a contract for like 200 of these bombers. It became the backbone, the backbone of the United States Air Force. With money coming in, Huff Land & Co. took on new headquarters and new names. They were merged and transformed to Huff Land Aero Company, Keystone Aircraft Corporation, and then, thanks to C.E. Woolman in 1928, Delta Air Service. And Delta kept the crop dusting going until 1966. And they were the first crop dusting company in the United States. From the bombers in the sky and the pesticides on the ground, the collaboration and ingenuity of Huff and DeLand changed this nation. Emily Griffin, 7 News.